Hello, my name is Ultimate Gamer, and I am reviewing the 2005 Vapid Bullet. And this is Race Car Week. We're going to be in the track all week for the uh, car reviews. And this is the final one of the season. So enjoy. This is a true race car made from Vapid. <clears throat> this American supercar was dominating the races in the 1960s. And they redesigned it to rub it in all their competition's face. We're in this track, one of the curviest tracks I've been in, the Vinyl Hills Raceway, to test is this really, really good. Powered by a 6 liter V8 engine pumping out 560 horsepower, goes up to a top speed of 210 miles an hour. A 0 to 60 top speed is really substantial for a supercar. It's pretty average of a 3.6 seconds. So it's not really as fast on the line as their Italian counterparts. But this car still has a lot of grip, even though it doesn't have a real spoiler. You just see the engine on the back and you're like, wow. It's just like music to your ears, listening to a big American V8 revving on the highway or revving in the racetrack. And this thing is so small and it's so low to the ground. This thing can barely reach up to my legs and lean. It's so good at taking corners too. I didn't even think it was going to be this sharp. But when you let your foot off the gas, it is amazing. And when you actually do keep your foot on the gas, you can make it spin a little bit. As I just did there. This has been really fun to do these car reviews. Sucks that this is going to be the last one of the season. Thing is pretty fast. It's faster than most sports or supercars with top speed of 210. The wheel is able to complete the race in a pretty good time. We made it in one minute. We made it in two minutes 41 seconds. Well guys, this is the end of Bullet GT and the end of Season 3, of Season 2. I'll see you guys later.